Morizi. So please, please, let's just make sure we hit these people hard this time around. Let me make sure we hit these people hard. Because if we fail this time around, believe me, they not, we're not going to ever use protest scare them again. They have seen 2020. So they feel like what is 20. Don't forget, the people that, that initiated this, this whole rubbish, um, uh, 20, uh, people that penetrated all this art, uh, they're they the one in power now. Now they empower their hand now. All of us were pointing finger to Nubu during 2020. Say that the Baba they power now. If we don't move these people, believe me, protests will never scare them. So let's just give our best shot this time around. I don't want to waste much time. Thank you very much. I hit the mic. I know from experience, right? A lot of you have reasons, okay, uh, to doubt anything said by a uniformed person in Nigeria. I understand. But you would probably have to begin to know that sometimes eh, you are likely going to also need those who are willing and ready to rebel against the same establishment if they have the chance. You must always give room to that. There is always going to be that outlier among them. And you're going to need them. You know? Then also, the idea of this whole thing is all talk, and we have spoken about that. It's time to kind of tone that down, too. Okay? Uh, once they shoot them, day one, all of them go run away. You're not going to see them again. I think it's time for you to tone that down, too. There's a reason. As, and we spoke about that yesterday. Why they cannot protest anything, Jare? One state. I think it's time we turn that down. The reason is because I have seen a lot. And I am somebody who can really, really take my time to get really convinced about something before I go ahead and feel like, okay, if, I, if you have to give it a shot with what you've seen and all of that, what would you say? So you say, well, it could be 50-50. And that's fear. Than to say, I'm, uh, it's nothing. I'm, I'm all of that. No, don't say that. And I want you to know something as well. Everybody will know the beginning. Nobody will know the end. Not even the planner. Not even the Tifnumbusa regime. But there's something you must remember. It has to be one after the other. One after the other. And you can actually untangle so many things. Uproot so many things. Eh? Without shouting Tifnumbu must go. Okay? Which can easily begin to divide you. Now there's a lot you can cover. Because at the end of the day, eh? If uh, you want everything at once or you put uh, the cat before uh, the us, that is probably going to be like uh, the uh, what they don't what they call that again the recipe recipe for disaster so let me let me explain what i mean by that if people say they are coming out and they're asking them what do you want number one you can even start with electoral i'm just giving you my own instance now i'm not part of the planner and all of that too but yeah i could chip in things right INEC must be reformed. And everybody right now inside INEC, the entire place must be dissolved. A new legislation and all of that kind of a thing must be put in place to let people elect the INEC uh, officials so not to be appointed. Now, you see in your protest, you can make that happen and right there on your protest ground. Breaking news, Yakubu and everybody sacked. Yeah, but there's no law that allowed them to sack them. But they've, they've been sacked. It's says, okay, that's one. The next one is going to be the police. Eh? All these policemen and all of that, all of what they have done and the position they are, we want all of them arrested and you know, sacked and arrested. They say, yeah, but we can't sack, sack and arrest them. So, yeah, okay. Oh, the next one, we need all of... Uh, 
Steve Numbu's ministers, who are not only just incompetent, these are a bunch of ass leakers and uh, treasury looters. We want all of them uh, sacked and arrested. You know, this kind of demands, they will be landing. And I you see, you have no idea how effective this can be and how things can change so quickly that even Tiff Numbu will probably have to sack himself, the rest of his cabinet. Everybody will just have to say, oh, so my only worry is that uh, what's going to be after that? So I picked this up earlier where uh, Shane was uh, responding. Shane was again, yeah, was responding to uh, the people that always say the youth should go back to the farm in an uh, unsecure, uh, I mean, insecure Nigeria. So he had this to say. Same thing about the food matter. Could you hear the toasty? Young Nigerians should embrace farming. Young Nigerians should embrace farming. Young Nigerians should go back to the farm. Young Nigerians should farm, farm, farm. Nigerians should farm, farm, farm. The majority of Nigerian people are in the rural areas. I repeat, the majority of Nigerian people are in the rural areas where all the arable land is for farming. If government is serious, not before city, they go to shout, you so farm, farm, farm. Government go establish the farms. Yes, exterior the government, they go not establish the farms, make a good incentive for people to go and work in the farms. How do let's use America? We uh, could use America. Uh, this thing, for example, uh, army, the American army. He said people won't go die for army. Who won't go join army? Go die. <laughs> you know why people they join army for America? Is the incentives. Say if you go one tour, meaning if you go fight one, if they send you abroad, you go fight one, you come back, they will give you free college education, free college education. They will give you so and so amount. This that that health benefits. This that. Our boys in Japan, I army. Mean, even our children for Nigeria, I get one best friend for school. One of my best friends for secondary school, a German for Nigeria airport one day. Ah, that's why in chest, in chest don't big like this. This boy that's why he's turning back and forth. That's why he don't big. He carry all those American soldier back. Oh my, I'm a lot. Oh, she part, what's he rat? Like, they give me. Oh, Japan, America. Oh, my, I'm in my walk. <coughs> he explained all the incentives. I, I was, I was like, Omo, he not be saving himself. I get everything they work for me. Omo came in on kit up. Kalok by Allah, I want to get a new. <laughs> so, if the Nigerian government <coughs> actually wanted young people here to work, to be in the family, they will put the incentive there. I will make all of you go and farm. But uh, it's obvious. All that one are still part of this scam. Nobody cares about feeding us in Africa. You understand what I tell you? Even if you enter the farming, <clears throat> even if you enter the farming, and I will come find out, say, 70% of what we are growing on our arable, 70% of our arable land, the arable land in Nigeria is used to grow cash crops. I repeat, 70% of the arable land in Nigeria is used to grow cash crops. Crops where they use to export for money, not to eat. Things you cannot eat. That is what they grow. Coffee, palm oil, cocoa, granite. All these things they send to Europe and America for money. The real staple diet that we eat, that the food that we eat, they don't grow enough of it. That's why food is so expensive. It is the economics of it. When demand is high and supply is low, what happens? If demand is high and supply is low, what happens? Price goes up. So the Nigerian elders, this Obasanjo, they were in charge of food. The Dango takes them in charge of the food of that country. They know to keep supply low because of their business. than to keep it matching or excess. In America, they subsidize the farmers to grow excess food. That's in Europe, 
they subsidize their farmer to grow excess food, more food than they need to eat. So the price of food will be cheap. The government will pay the farmers the extra that people don't buy. You understand? When they over the ones that they can't move because it's, it's too much, the government guarantees them to buy it. So the farmers are given the incentive to keep producing food. The farmers are given the incentive. Because the government did their back. Say, I say, feed these people. The one with the no feed chop, we will buy. In Nigeria, the opposite is the case. Mm -hmm. And the opposite are the case because they no one make una know which they, they use the land do. And they no make una know how they, they fail. You see, your poverty, lack of having money, hmm, is your perfect excuse. So that's why they must make Nigerians poor and always make food price high. Our own elders, so we're supposed to give us food job. They will say they want respect from person who never chop. Deliberately starving their own people. Because if they give you good life, if they increase your minimum wage, they make you employed, they make food cheap, people feed by them. We go realize, say, they are not growing enough food to feed everybody. You know, say, right now, Many people think say people know the chop say now because they're lazy, they don't get work, they don't feed chop. That's a oh guy. You don't understand how they put you for that situation. If everybody in Nigeria could actually afford food, we will find out that the food gone is not available to buy. Now that won't come post in our head. See which kind of people be this. So for them, it is better that the excuse for people not eating is poverty. So they need poverty today. So only few of us can even afford the expensive food. You understand? This game. Anarchy loans. Anarchy loans. Anarchy. No more peaceful protests again now. Because peaceful protests know they work. Yes. Peaceful prot protests, you know they work. More turn out to one man, no man, more enter so well, scatter everywhere. More shook, 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 wait, no good. More no shook a little way, no good. Thank you, Jare. Uh, Sheung. I hope you get the message. <laughs> it's a very straightforward one. Make them poor, even though you have the land, they tell you to go back to farm. I mean. Fair enough, Sheung didn't even like include that part of those who even managed to go back to that farm without any incentive from these rogues that continue to tell you to go back to farm. The problem is that majority of you can't even afford that food. It's not available, which is deliberate. So by the time all of you are able to afford the food, you will now discover that they've actually not been producing anything per se. These guys are so useless. They have no use for you. And you probably would have revolted a while back. So, shemi, me kind of a thing. You can call it. Hmm? Anyway, there is another one. But I'm going to take a short break. Quickly. Ina zona okis na paga design ga yanan na logo ng end ban na ton chichon tufo la lafu taza nga zanga aga nan dega wata Nanga yanan enda neki design ni a chichon computer na doming ina so aiken ya pata so say bayan na gama design nan ga yanan na yifu rentin nishi Bayan na yifu rentin ga yiku nan da zaman na mawa hata da hule nan su Mujezu wa Ganan nasa giga na a cikin mashin domin in buga aikin da nayi nan ga yana nasa gigan zan dauko paper da zan sa na aiki bayan nasa already nan har na gama printin din gigan ga yanan zan bude za ku ga yanda gigan tai kyau sosai ga yanan na bude na cire paper da nasa ga aikin nan wow gaskiya wannan aikin yayi kyau ni kai na na ya ba da wannan aiki ga yanan kamar yadda kuke gari na gigan ne ga ta nan na daga ta 2024 in Allah da wanda za a fita a ganan dega watan June kenan ga yanan na ije ta bayan na aje gigan ga yanan 
Kan kwa sena che waga yanta uko hula shima ambaga Bayan naga ma aike gigo na nga yana nanda kuche gani ga giga nang Na mkuma gash ina printi nga sa logo achiki un hula nga yana Kama yanda kuche gani ga yanda logo na yafutu Wow shima faya aike usu se walai Na gani na fada doma nasa ya na ya aiki mecho Awa yana nga yanda hula na na che ni mapa sena yanta na akena Bayan naga ma printi nga hula seme ya gage mana Mjezua Next, abun naga baga yuguna nan naga ma aiken su gaba kite en su Sawaga sa logo an kampani na do Munda anga gigan ache wan nan daga kampani MJ Talent taputu Kamedda wukia gani nan ga logo an kampani na nan na yang kashi Bayan na yang ka logo an kampani na ga yanan na chegi Kawa isi en lakko gigan man na mata Kamedda wukia gani nan na lakko gigan Ayyong so dashi kule da Eh? So you have the chance now If you ask me uh, you have the chance now not to uh, continue to enable this madness. Yes, everyone is going to tell you the outcome that they didn't do that uh, when Boko Hari was there. A Yoruba man is there now. And that's why they were, we sh I know people are already saying that. We should be very careful of the not. I understand that kind of uh, thought, right? And that is why uh, somehow, mm -hmm, it is not really ideal, okay? On the one hand, to, to say we, we are refined enough that uh, we can be deceived by the tribal, uh, you know, coloration and all of that stuff, which is what Nigeria is made of. And then we are also pretty much like uh, defending what is, uh, you know, making life hell for even our own people was right now to defend these rogues by saying, mm, since the North are the ones who are asking for a better, what have you now, right? They didn't ask for it during Boko Hari's time. So we need to be very careful. So it's better we just suffer it. Because you know what? If we start it now and they remove the Pnumbu, is that not that uh, they will now do the thing? We will now go back to them. And that is how we have been trying to now defend Tifnumbu subconsciously. I don't like Tifnumbu. I don't like in the Kinikon. But if we if we let these people do protests and then they remove Tifnumbu, eh? you see, that's how they normally do. These northern people, that's how they normally do. So, okay. So what do you think? I think we should just let everybody suffer for the eight years, Jerry. They did not do anything for during the time of Bokwari. So people should die and just endure it, right? Even though, like, we we are not bigots, okay? We are not, eh? we are not the typical Nigerians who love their own oppressors, who love their own uh, thieves differently. Eh? For example, now, you know, your own, maybe our own oppressors are God-fearing oppressors. Or your own thieves are God fearing thieves. So, subconsciously, it's always there. It's always there. I know it's this hard. Okay, I understand. I think it's mostly about how it makes you feel, right? I mean, I can, I mean, especially these northerners. Ah, no. Now, so that they do. Do you see how that, that can actually take over your mind easily, just like that? And everything else will just be like, whoa, see, my ego. See, me, eh, I'm not supporting any protests or anything. Because you see, this, this Northerners, eh, that's what they do. That's what they did for Jonathan. You remember? Every time it is Southern, so all this looting, all these uh, killings, all of this uh, suffering, the hardship and all of that, right? The moment that your tribal gene kicks in, which somehow, I'm not a bigot, my ego. I know, I know you are not. It's just right inside there, like, you know, subconscious. It's always there. You know, tell yourself the truth. It's okay, right? It's okay. It's okay. I'm not condemning you. It's always there, yeah? And in there, you can't trust them. Why do you need to trust them? Do you trust this uh, threat that APC, poses? if we have to cover your face and you can't see Tip Numbu, Okay, and you're seeing APC. Would you be able to like think straight? I just don't, you know. I know, you know, I don't like Tifnumbu, right? 
I just think, I just think this this protest is a conspiracy. Really? It's the northern conspiracy, Jared. That's how they normally do. Oh, it is a conspiracy. In fact, all of this hardship and conspiracy. In fact, all of these things that we are complaining about, they are not real. They are just conspiracy. And they are the conspiracy of northern Nigeria to make you that one that you say you can't pay your rent, you can't pay for your medication, you can't feed yourselves, you have no job, you are not safe, your farms are being ransacked and all of that stuff, right? At least it didn't start yesterday. At least all these things didn't start on that if Numbu. Eh? Eh? All this hardship that everybody is screaming, eh? it's not as if to say it started on that if Numbu. Because these northern people, eh? these northern people, how come they did not see anything in eight years? You see how it works? Do you see that now? I'm speaking something to you right now, Abby. Or are you just sitting there, sitting there smiling like, mm, uh, my Edgun, you don't get it. I know. I will probably will never get it. Eh? I mean, I don't like all this. I'm not a typical Nigerian. I don't love my, my oppressors. Talk less of loving my oppressors differently. But you do. So what is the point I am trying to make? Somehow, somehow, we are conditioned. Even when we try to want to reason and see beyond this tribe, religion, ethnic, and all of that, there's always something in us that says, no, don't, don't trust that instinct. Don't. And it is so difficult to see beyond that. Even when you try to see you. I mean, if you listen to yourselves, right, trying to see beyond it, you just find out that you can't. I mean, these Northerners can't be trusted. Trust has been broken. It never existed. It's all about power for them. It's this or that. Even though the visible uh, for that destruction of Nigeria, by it, if Nungu that sustained the Boko Waris, uh, uh, the ruins, and even as much as uh, the same Tifnumbu is still pretty much presenting uh, Bokuari as a leader, this or that, and protecting the thieves under Bokuari, you know, it doesn't really matter. You know, he's a Yoruba man. You know, we, we, uh, not that I like him, but let him just be there. That's exactly what they did there to Bokuari. So the cycle will continue like that. Somebody needs to break it. Some generation needs to break it. And see beyond who is going to be your president or who is not going to be this. For the first time, take back your lives. Let whoever uh, want to, uh, you know, put their head somehow, somehow to repeat what you are about to destroy. Uh, let them always be reminded of what happened to the people of today. Because they are going to be people of yesterday soon. If Numbu and his gang will soon become men of yesterday, powerless, vulnerable on the run. They will soon become that. And that will be because of you. That will be because you will push them to that edge. Everything they've taken away from you. Everyone that they are shielding. Everyone they are protecting from justice. All of what they have taken from you. Slowly but steadily you will squeeze them of them all. If you want to. And they know that there is another thing that she wanted to say, talking about the protest in Kenya and all that, right? Nigerians are trying to copy Kenya. No, she won't disagree. He said, no. Kenyans are actually acting or working on the playbook of uh, the answers, which Nigeria never had the chance of uh, completing. So they've learned from that. But the table is also turning in Kenya right now. The criminal politicians in Kenya including the sacked cabinet uh, secretaries, the ministers of Ruto. He has reappointed back some of them. And he has also given appointment to some of the political positions, hoping that that would uh, pacify the Gen Z in Kenya. Nigerians didn't get to that stage before they brought out their soldiers who shot and killed hundreds of uh, protesters, including their policemen who shot and killed hundreds of protesters. And there was never justice for them. So, yeah, Shewun's view. This is Shewun's view. Okay. And you should possibly have your own views too, right?
Now, young people in Nigeria, now one thing we are no Mukuna, Mukuna fall for. They say, now they copy Kenya. <laughs> they say, Nigerian youth won't copy Kenya. Now, Kenya, they copy also. <laughs> Make una no, see, this is how they manipulate our brain. This is how these people manipulate our brain. These fake, fake journalists, these chihuahuas. So you can be doing the same thing over and over again. We don't do what they do for Kenya for 2020. Ladies and gentlemen, don't diminish your, yourself. Do not diminish yourself. You don't do what they don't. Which you, in fact, we do pass them. For 2020. Make you not forget Lekki. I don't I don't wait to say make you not forget Lekki to get to that Lekki to get in a way is a distraction. Now elitist narrative. They keep people for Lekki, Ozubam Badi way, Ozubam. Now only Ozubam Badi way they keep people. I see they talk that that's they vex me. Say Lekki massacre. Why are they saying Lekki massacre? That 